Oh hello Wild Ones, I'm here in the woods today on this late October afternoon to try camping in a fully enclosed tarp setup which I've never tried before but I'm expecting loads of rain later so it could be pretty cosy. Let's see how it goes. I love it! So today I'm using my trusty 3.5 by 3.5 multi-cam tarp and I'm going to be using this tree behind me as well to attach the tarp to. I'm assuming you could use a ridge line if you prefer. I've also brought with me today some pegs, some cordage and a bit of bungee as well. So I learned this configuration from Andreas Muller's video which is brilliant so if you would like a straightforward straight to the point tutorial on this configuration please check that out i will stick a link up here and in the description as well my version will be a bit more of a drawn out camping in it hopefully trying it in some rainy weather as well and just generally seeing how livable it is so with that in mind let's get going so i started by clearing a lovely flat area down here and the first step will be to lay this tarp out in a big square face down Okay, so that's the tarp laid out in a nice square and I've got this front corner here right next to this tree because we're going to be using that tree. So next I've got three pegs. I'm going to peg in the two front corners and one in the middle there. So now that I've got those three pegs in, I'm going to attach a bit of cordage to this middle back tie out point. I'm going to use bungee today because I like the stretch in it but you can use any type of cordage. So this is where the magic happens. I'm going to take this back attachment point and attach it to that tree there. Oh yeah look that's really cool and as you can see this side flappy bit creates a nice sheltered side here and you can just attach that to that peg like that. It's amazing! And then you've got this flap here that comes over like this and you can also attach that to the same peg there. There's your fully enclosed tarp shelter. So I think what I'm going to do with my extra pegs is do some more pegging in, get that really secure. Yeah I think that's amazing. I think I'm also going to guy out the attachment points at the back, give us loads of space inside. So let's do that now and then we'll look inside. So yeah, it's up. I love it. I'm a little bit flappy around the back, but I think it'll be okay. I have used an extra peg down here as well. I just think it'll be easier to use it kind of like a door. So just unhook it and that's my little doorway. I might peg that up actually. Yeah, if I stick a little clip on here and then while it's not raining, clip it on there like that. Let's have a look inside. Yeah, this is a truly massive shelter. I mean, it is huge in here. There is so much space. I actually think this is going to be amazing in the rain. I've tried to pull the sides out a little bit further than the floor. That's another thing that's great about this. It creates the whole shelter and the floor as well. But if you've got the edges of your floor outside of the edges of the sides, the rain is going to come into your shelter. So I've pulled it out a little bit. And I think that's fine. Let's get some gear in here and see what sort of room we've got when we've got all our stuff in. all set up in here now there is so much space i absolutely love it we're all sealed along the back of course which is great in the rain the headroom is disgracefully good i mean it's lovely i'm quite long in the torso so quite often even in tents i'm like hunched over i can sit up nice and tall in this which is gorgeous i would say that this is more of a roomy one person shelter though than a two person just because how it tapers towards the end there so you're not going to get two mats next to each other because it's so skinny at that end but yeah it's wonderful because you've got space for all your sleep system space to sit space for all your gear as well i've got my rucksack in here i could bring my boots in there's just so much room i am wondering if i'd be able to unhook this side from the ground and pull it out slightly so that i can cook my dinner because i've bought a steak to cook today on my little fire pit but if it's raining that's going to be difficult to do without some kind of shelter so let's have a go at that and then when i'm done cooking i can just bring it back in oh yeah that's really cool okay let's take that in look at that what a cool multi-purpose little shelter. I reckon I'll be able to have a tiny little fire down here now without getting wet. I'm all ready. I'm all cozy and warm and I'm just gonna chill now, wait for the sun to go down and when it's dark, we'll cook this steak. I'm 
how I go now. Is that the right? Yeah, the rain's here. I'm in such a happy place right now. This is just perfection. Let's have a look at this sirloin. So I've bought some spices with me today. I know you can just salt a steak, but I like my spices, so that's gonna be delicious. Right, I think that's looking just about ready to get this steak on. I think we might be done here. Yeah. I don't think he's going to fit on my plate though. got a little break in the rain so I'm gonna get out get this side down I've run out of wood now so we'll get all cozy and shut in for the night loving it in here in the rain it's gorgeous completely enclosed I've used a little clip on the door up there to hold the little doorway shut but there's a tiny little gap just for ventilation i don't know if it might be a condensation nightmare in here we'll have to see in the morning right i'm gonna get to bed i'm gonna use my head bug net tonight because although we're enclosed and protected from the rain the bugs can still come in underneath of course so not on them going up my nose and stuff I'll see you guys in the morning. Bye. Good morning. It's a beautiful morning. And it rained for hours last night. Really gorgeous being in here in my enclosed little nook. I really, really loved it. So it was about 13 degrees last night when I had the fire go in. And of course the heat was coming in and getting trapped in here. So it was really warm. It dropped to, I think about eight during the night and I was only just warm enough. So I think I'm gonna have to go onto my winter gear soon. But the clocks went back last night as well. So got an extra hour of sleep. I think I had about six or seven hours. So that's great, yeah. I'm really, really impressed with this top. It's one of my favorites and I know <laughs> I often say that, but it is just so cool and so versatile and so functional. And I love the way the floor is part of it. You've got all this protection at the back. It's really, really good. And no rain came in at all, even though it was raining for many hours. I really love that you can put this side bit up as like a shelter if you want to have a fire or just sit and watch the rain and then put it back down again. I do believe there is another fully enclosed setup that I can try. Is it the pyramid or something? So I need to try that one as well. And condensation wise, the walls are slightly damp, but nowhere near as bad as I thought it would be. So yeah, it's not too bad. Here is the inside this morning. As you can see, it's a bit grubby, but completely dry everywhere. Well, good. Little update on my ankle. For anyone who's interested, I did injure my ankle about six weeks ago now on a trip and um, only recently found out that I actually dislocated it. So it didn't stay out, of course, but it snapped in and out the joint really fast, causing various ligament damage on one side and broke a tiny bit of bone off the other side as well. So yeah, I've got a lot of work to 
doing that to try and get it stronger again. I think it's always gonna be a bit of a dodgy ankle now. I'll have to see how it goes, but yeah. Thanks for bearing with me with that. And thank you for watching this video. I've had a great time as I'm loving just sitting here watching the squirrels and the leaves fall from the trees this morning. It's really gorgeous and I will see you again soon. Thanks guys, bye.